This is a continuation of our interaction in regards to the forthcoming activities here in Uganda, and that is the Nana Aligned Movement and the G77 Plus China Summits happening in January 2024 in this beautiful country of ours we call the power of Africa, and that is Uganda. With me is Her Excellency, and she will be getting the details about herself as we go on with this interaction. Thank you and welcome to this set, Your Excellency. Thank you. Thank you so much, UBC. Um, I'm Ambassador Dr. Mumtaz Kassam. I have completed my tour of duty in Italy, where I was Deputy Head of Mission and Ambassador, covering eight countries and alternate representative to the three UN agencies, IFAD, World Food Programme, and FAO. You, you have found us on this table, basically talking about the NAMWAN G77 Summit. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, what do you know about these summits? Well, NAM and G77, as you know, um, are forums where they are bringing their non-aligned countries to Uganda. And G77, as you know, and China is the South-South cooperation that we are introducing and we are trying to uh, get more trading benefits and economic benefits for our country. Um, in Italy, G77 and China was quite much in the forefront, especially at the three UN agencies. So we hope that Uganda can benefit a lot. Uh, our Ministry of Foreign Affairs, together with other agencies, have worked extremely hard. They're very capable of hosting such forums. We did Chogam, as you know, in 2007. We've had many, many international conferences, and we are becoming conference tourism uh, you know, experts, in other words. And we hope we will have support from everybody, Ugandans, children, youth, and um, also uh, the media. Um, I'm actually basically helping with the spouses program. And part of the program is that we go to Mulago Hospital, we go to a children's hospital in Entebbe, we go to the source of the Nile, and all these are to showcase our beautiful country. Let's pick it from there. When you talk of Mulago, the children's hospitals and others, are you giving attention to the health facility or you, you are trying, what are we benchmarking from the spouses who will be coming in here in line with our health department? Sure. It's very important to point out the health facilities we have currently here. Uh, and more importantly, to see if we can do some joint partnerships to improve our health facilities. Uh, for example, I will look at the Children's Hospital in Entebbe. It's a very successful hospital built by an Italian NGO together with Uganda Ministry of Health and other government agencies. It's a completely free of charge hospital. And when the first lady of Burundi was here, for example, she visited the hospital and we even take Burundi children into our hospital at Tentebe. So it's something that we believe that by, by, by taking the spouses to such venues, we are exposing our health facilities and we are actually showing them that joint partnership between government and private sector can work very well. Yeah. On the summit of Naman G77, you said you are working on a program of the spouses. How loud are these spouses in these summits? They are usually, as you know, they are actually quite highly educated in their own rights and they are very aware. And as, as our first lady does a lot of charity work, as you know, so these spouses are also involved in their own countries. And for us to be able to host them and to have the honor of hosting them, we will be able to see what more can be done together and to progress further. The NAM and G77 summits will be attracting a cross-section of delegates ranging from leaders, be the heads of countries and delegations, but then the summit is happening in January 2024 here in Munyonyo and other places of Kampala. Still, this is UBC and we shall be getting you the details of such interactions as they drop on our desks. Bye-bye for now.